First District Court of Tunaville is now in session. Now you children understand that we hold this court once a week to settle any difficulties that may arise among you. The offenders to be tried by a jury of their playmates. The first case is the People versus Hambone Johnson, charged with stealing a dog from Junior Davis. Your Honor, can I say a word? What is it, Mickey? All of the jury is Stinky Davis's playmate. Can I have some of me pals on it? How many would you like to have, Mickey? Two will be plenty. All right. Two of you boys step down. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Are you the defendant? No, sir. I, the boy, stole the dog. What? He says he's the boy they say stole the dog. Oh, proceed, Judy R. Davis. He's not just take the stand. Have you promised to tell the truth? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help you, uh... uh what is your name? Don't you know me, Mr. Zill? The boy lives next door to you. I'm coming over for our lawnmower tonight. <laughs> Order there. I said, what's your name? John Charles Egbert Thomas McDuff. Call yourself Sam Jones. That's the only name I can spell. Tell the situation in your own words, Mr. McDuff. Well, think he was a ham bone Johnson was walking down the street leading a dog. And I said, how much will you take for the dog? And he said, a hundred dollars. And I said, ninety cents. And he said, I'll take it. So I gave him the ninety cents. And he gave me the dog. Look. Is that the dog? Yes, that's him. Did Hambone look kind of sneaky when you gave him the 90 cents? I object, Your Honor. It don't make no difference how Hambone looks. He gave him the 90 cents, and he gave him the dog. Objection sustained. Hambone, come to the stand. Whenever you can say nothing, say it. Remember, I'm your lawyer. What could they give a guy for stealing a dog? I heard of one guy getting 30 years. Ooh. Ambon Johnson. Here I come. Here I come. Well, Hambone, what is your full name? Hambone Washington Johnson. Why did you steal my dog? He was a big stud, so I never stole nothing. You never stole anything? Well, hardly anything. Hambone, do you know the difference between right and wrong? Yes, sir. The man is always right, and the cat is always wrong. Where did you get that dog? I was walking down the street, and this here dog smelled that. Yes, go on. And then he wagged his tail, and I walked, and he walked after me. Why did you tell him? Because he bit my pappy in the... In the yes, ma'am. In the past. Proceed, Junior Davis. But he ain't your dog. What did you do with the 90 cents? I gave it back to Pete so we could use the barn for a minstrel show. But, Dave, did this dog follow you? I just remember. That's all. 
Your Honor, I have known the defendant Hambone ever since he was a little kid. He's never been caught stealing anything. No, he runs too fast. Out of order, Julia. Your Honor, I think we should turn the dog loose. And the one who he goes to is the one who owns him. That's right. Turn the dog loose. Come to me, Minka. Come here, don't you hear me? Come here, Skinny. Here, where you all going? Come on. Here, Skinny. I will leave this matter to the hands of the jury. boys reached a decision? Hambone is not guilty. Stinky Davis and Chief Mac Duff are very guilty. Can I ask a question? Yes, my boy. Sh could we give Stinky the electric chair? Not yet. We leave it to you, Judge. The court settles Junior Davis and Chief McDuff to follow the orders of Mickey Maguire for the period of one week. between a hill and a pill. I don't know, ma'am. What is the difference between a hill and a pill? The hill is hard to get up and the pill is hard to get down. <laughs> Tom boy, I hear there was a burger in your house last night. Yes, that's right. And what did you get? Nothing but the practice. <laughs> Mr. McGuire, how do a little baby hummingbird call his mama? You mean one of the little bits of baby hummingbirds? Yes, a little bit of them. I don't know, Ham, how does a baby hummingbird call it? Mama! Mama! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mr. McGuire, I just bought a new fur raincoat. A new fur raincoat? Don't you know the rain will ruin the fur? Did you up there, a squirrel carrying a number of them? <laughs> Him, have you got that five cents you owe me? No. I have to ask you five times to 
give me that. That's something I had to ask you eight times before you learn a thing. <laughs> Please, Mal. No, I don't, Tom Boy. What is smaller than a flea's mouth? What he puts in it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will now do my celebrated soft shoe dance. I have done this before many kings and other guys with crowned heads. <laughs> Let me down and get 
Bebe. <laughs>